All right, guys, got a delivery from Amazon today. DeWalt 4 and 3 8 wet dry masonry handheld saw with the water line, includes a GFI on the cord. This thing cost about 150 bucks. We're gonna run some tests to see if it's any better than my cordless DeWalt grinder attached with the diamond blade and a wet sponge. All right, here we go. Let's play with some tools. Four and three eighths wet dry masonry saw. DeWalt includes a blade, includes a water line, GFI on the cord. Let's take a look, see what this thing's all about. Now I've already looked at everything inside to make sure I'm not missing anything here. All right, water line. The spray's on the blade to keep it cool. Your regulator here. Six foot cord. GFI. Here's the saw. Four and three eighths blade. Only size blade you can use with this. That's one negative about this. Saw it feels pretty heavy, definitely heavier than my cordless grinder. You got your depth positioning there. You also can do some bevel cuts as well. We're just gonna do some straight cuts testing this out. We'll hook the water line up, install the hose into this regulator, and uh, we'll see how this thing runs. Let's check it out. When installing the blade, it includes two different tools. Try not to lose these. You need to use them at the same time in order to get that blade off and on. All right, guys, setup is fairly easy. You've got our water line here that is connected to the regulator included, which therefore is connected to the hose. So here's the water line. You've got your valve and two sprayers. This installs behind the blade. We'll show you how that's done right now. Unplug the saw before you do this. Got a bolt right here. Drop the depth fence down. Remove this bolt here. Put that to the side. Here's your uh, two sprayers with valve, which will control the pressure. And this gets installed like so. Tuck it under that guard there. One sprayer on each side of the blade. Line that up to the hole. And screw that back in. just like that. All right, as you can see, one sprayer here, one sprayer there, one sprayer on the other side. It will spray towards the blade. Regulator here to control the uh, water pressure. Easy as that, let's uh, cut some tile. What we got to cut today, we've got some Glass and metal backsplash, a piece of glass here, polished hard porcelain, you've got some flat matte porcelain, we'll cut some travertine here, and then we'll test it on a long rip on a four foot tile. All right, let's see what this thing's made of. We'll first try a dry cut with travertine.
fairly clean cut. Okay, we'll try to cut travertine with the water sprayer on. As you can see this valve here controls the pressure there. It doesn't need to be high, we'll go low. Let's give it a shot. Off the bat, seems a little messy. Decent cut. One thing this thing lacks is a shutoff valve. This valve controls high, medium, low pressure only. So you can only use it really outside. A bit of water waste, a little messy. Let's cut some porcelain. I'm just gonna cross cut this high polish hard porcelain. Ah. Cut that pretty darn clean, I would admit. Now let's try some glass and metal backsplash. Thin metal and glass backsplash. I'm gonna leave it in the plastic. Let's check it out here. Fairly clean cut. All right, let's try some glass. A little sloppy with the glass. All right, last, let's cut this four foot porcelain plank and we will rip it. Well guys, all in all, this is a good little saw. It cuts straight, cuts clean. Um, I think this is more designed for a DIYer or a homeowner. It takes a little bit of skill to cut porcelain with a grinder, to cut straight. It takes a bit of uh, practice. So this thing's a lot heavier. It's got a bigger fence. This combined with the manual tile cutter would definitely get the job done. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below.